Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Education and asks uh, which minister is to be responsible for the enforcement of the Education Act 1989 in relation to limited attendance early childhood centres following the passing of the Education Amendment Bill No. 2? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Mr Speaker, the Ministers of Education and Tertiary Education are responsible for the Education Act 1989. Gym and shopping mall creches will not come under the Education Act because they are not providers of education. These types of facilities will come under a wide range of requirements including the Health and Safety Act, the Building Act and the contractual obligation they will have with parents. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. When she suggested that the Health and Safety and Employment Act could be used for protection from the paedophiles who will no longer be subject to police vetting before being employed to care for children at limited attendance centres after her bill is passed, was she indicating that she th thought fellow employees were in danger from those paedophiles rather than the children they were caring for? The Honourable Anne Tully. I'm sorry, Mr Speaker, that question was so convoluted I didn't understand it. Could I ask the member to repeat it? Um, um, you order. look as puzzled no, 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 as I. Order, order. Uh, the, no, member didn't, uh, um, the member will repeat his question for us. When she suggested that the Health and Safety and Employment Act could be used for the protection from the paedophiles who will no longer be subject to police vetting before being employed to care for children at limited attendance centres after her bill is passed, was she indicating that she thought fellow employees were in danger from these paedophiles under that Act rather than the children they were caring for? The Honourable Anne Tolly. Mr Speaker, no. The Health and Safety Act requires that all practicable steps are taken to ensure that no action or inaction of any employee harms another person. The Honourable Trevor Mr. Mallard. When she said that scout and guide leaders were not subject to police checks, was she aware that it's the policy of the national organisations for both scouts and guides that all those supervising children are subject to police checks? The Honourable Anne Tolly. Mr Speaker, absolutely, and that's the point. Legislation does not require it, but the obligations that those organisations have to the parents who are entrusting them with their children means that they voluntarily, to protect them and the children, make sure that anyone that's working with children take police checks. And many parents are insisting upon that before they make the decision to leave their children with those groups. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Is she aware that there are no national organisations, such as there are for scouts and guides, covering childcare centres at gyms, shopping malls or swimming pools, that could impose a policy to ensure that police checks are carried out on any staff who will be supervising children? The Honourable Anne Tolly. Yes, but there are a large number of organisations who work with a variety of children that are in the process of well, developing some guidelines now and will continue to develop guidelines as parents make the decision themselves to entrust their children to those people. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Is she sure that she is doing the right thing in removing the primary protection against children being exposed to known paedophiles in limited attendance early child care centres. The Honourable Anne Tolly. Speaker, that is not what I'm doing. It's exactly what you're doing. That brings to a close questions for a, a point of order, is it? The Honourable Ruth Dyson. Um, Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table this photo of Vera Wilson taken by her son Murray today as she was being forced to leave her home in Taihepi and move to Fielding for the first time in her marriage to be separated by a locked door from her husband, the face of health cuts. Order. Order. The last uh, comment was not helpful. Leave is sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. The House now comes to question.